Hello and welcome to this PHP course. Today we will learn PHP in a very simple way. As you can see what we have here is just a normal desktop. We will start from the beginning. This course is suitable for anyone even if they don't have a previous knowledge in programming. So let's do it. Okay so what we have here is just a normal desktop. We are starting from the beginning. The first thing we need to do is to create the file which we will write our codes on. So uh, just open with the right click and then you click on new text document and we can call it test. Let's call it test. Now there is a little problem that uh, if you open the properties of this file, you will see that is .txt, a text file. What we need to do is to convert it .php so we can write our PHP codes. So the way to do this is just open it as normal and then file save as and then you call it the same thing test and then you add the extension dot php but you have to include the quotation marks in the beginning and in the end this way when you click on save it will save it but with a new extension we choose the same destination the desktop and then we click on save and that's it if we go to the desktop, we will see the file that we just created. Let's open the properties now and you will see that it's .php. This is what we need to start writing our PHP codes. So let's remove this old one here, which was .txt. We don't need it anymore. And then we empty the recycle bin so the desktop looks nice. So let's get started in writing our PHP codes. We are keeping everything simple and easy. All the codes that you write in PHP, they have to start with this symbol and they have to end with this symbol here. I know they look funny, but this is how everything needs to start and finish. Everything that you write has to be in between them. So the web browser would know that this is all PHP. So today we will learn the first lesson of PHP. Something is called print. Print does not mean print with a printer. It means show something. I know it sounds the same, but it's not. So print, and then you open a quotation mark, and you write whatever you want to say, like, hello, how are you? And then you end the quotation mark, and then you add this symbol here. This symbol is very important in PHP. Every line in PHP has to end with this symbol here. So that's it. Today we learned something called print. What does this do? This will show us anything that we put between the quotation marks. Hello, how are you? So we just save the file and then we upload this file to our website. We save the file, now we upload it to our website. The website name today is zortin.com. So uh, you type zortin.com and then we type test.com. PHP. This is the file that we just uploaded and then you hit enter. Hello, how are you? We start zooming in, zooming in. Hello, how are you? So this PHP code printed, hello, how are you? As we asked it to do. There is also something called echo. Echo does the same thing as print. So echo and print are the same. Just to prove it, I'm going to save it and then upload it and then refresh it on the website. As you can see, it's still the same print and echo. They are same command almost. Okay. So now that we can see the big font, hello, how are you? Let's uh, play a little bit more to learn some more PHP. What if we put another line, the same like this, just copy paste it. Okay. And we can call this one print. I mean, they are both almost the same, but uh, yeah, let's uh, change a little bit. So we got echo here and we got print here. And let's save it and upload it so now we will see both of them but without any space between them it will look a little bit messy hello how are you hello how are you if we want to add just a little bit of HTML you can put something called BR this is the symbol of BR what this does is it makes it jump one line so now if we write it just like that BR and we save it if we refresh the page, there will be a big problem here. There is an error, parse error, unexpected, you see? 
so we have to add another print or echo another command obviously so we just say the same print br and then you end it with this symbol so now this should jump one line below and there will not be any problems because we added the print refresh it hello how are you hello how are you this br we can add many br as we want br 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 i've added too many just save it so i'm just playing with the code so you get an idea br is not php is like html but you have to write it in a php command so it does not show you an error can you see how many lines we've jumped because we added like many of them so today in php we learned echo we learned print we learned some things in php we will continue getting deeper into php while still keeping it simple i recommend that you watch the whole tutorial you watch all the lessons it will benefit you a lot in the future by the end of these lessons you will be able to program using php so uh, if you cannot find the list of lessons in this page perhaps you can find the link for the full course thank you for watching today's lesson and i will see you next time